Willy Apple here, and Apple has released macOS Ventura Beta 7 to developers, and a little bit later they'll release Beta 5 to public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new in macOS Ventura Beta 7. For me, the update came in at 1.46 GB, coming from Beta 6 on my M1 MacBook Air. And if we were to take a look at the build number in System Settings, General, and About, we see as the build number is 22A5342F. For beta 6, it was 22A5331F. So unfortunately, we did not get a bunch of changes. We only got 11 builds since beta 6. We also have an F at the end of the build number, which is the same as beta 6. But we do have a couple of changes in beta 7. The first change, if we were going to battery, and then take a look at battery health, the scroll menus, it's not only in battery health, it's all across macOS. These scroll menus have been fixed right here. Pretty nice that these have been fixed. And also the family icon right here has changed. It used to have multiple people right here showing your family members, but now it's just no one right here. I don't know why Apple has decided to change this. They did look a little bit lower quality for a while. Hopefully they bring those back and making them higher quality next time. If we were going to sound, these now no longer need to be held for a while in order to preview the sound. Other than those things, that seems to be pretty much it with macOS Ventura Beta 7. If we look at the release notes right here, we do see that we have a few fixed issues. Now we do have the same known issues from last time, but we do have a few resolved issues, one related to security, one related to stage manager, and that seems to be pretty much it. Ventura Beta 7 feels a lot smoother than Beta 6, and we will take a look at that right now with a Geek Mench test. On macOS Ventura Beta 7, we got a 1760 on the Sega Core and a 7778 on the Multicore. Now let's compare that to Beta 6 right here. We got a 1753 on the Sega Core and the 7693 on the Multicore. We already know that macOS Ventura Beta 6 and Beta 5 are faster than Monterey. So for whatever reason, just like with last year with Big Sur and Monterey, macOS Ventura is actually faster than macOS Monterey. Now let's talk about bugs. I have a weird issue with video editing where if I were to put in my subscribe animation, Final Cut Pro just lags like crazy when I'm editing in macOS Ventura. That doesn't happen on Monterey for some reason. So I will let you know when editing, if that has been fixed or not. And we also don't have any word on the clock issue with the alarm. So the build number still remains to be 62, so I doubt it's fixed. I will let you know in the pinned comment down below tomorrow morning if that has been fixed or not. Now what can we expect next from Apple? Next is iOS 16, watchOS 9, tvOS 16, and HomePod OS 16 public release. That's gonna happen on the 12th right here. Now for macOS, we do get something on Apple's website. If we were to go to the Mac Monterey right here, scroll down and press see the preview of macOS Ventura. We see that macOS Ventura is coming in October. It's also the same with iPadOS 16 since both of them have been delayed. Now when it comes to macOS, I believe that we will be getting beta 8 the same time as iPadOS 16.1. 1 beta 2 and iOS 16.1 beta 1. I believe that will all happen on the 13th or the 14th right here. So it's going to be nice that we have everything back on par. Hopefully next year macOS 14 will release at the same time as iOS 17. Unfortunately not that much in macOS Ventura beta 7. It's nice that we have a few resolved issues. For example the scrolling animation has been fixed right here. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share it with your friends and I'll hopefully see you in in my next video. Bye!